If by now you haven't already heard about Colleen Ballinger getting cancelled for inappropriately messaging minors and worse, well, it gets worse. Since Jojo Siwa recently appeared on Howie Mandel's podcast defending Colleen, saying all the allegations against her are all lies, Jojo herself has now been cancelled. I, I think it's really... This is the first time that I've talked about this, so I just want to make sure I say my exact piece that I want to say. The internet can take a lie and run so far with it, so far, that it's to the point where you just can't do anything about it. And I've had that happen to me. People were fuming after this podcast aired. They were like, WTF, what is she on about? Clearly she's been groomed herself by Colleen over the years and she can't see the problem with what Colleen has done. And I, I know Colleen very, very, very well. And I think the work that Colleen has done for, for the internet is incredible. I think her creativity is incredible. Miranda Sings is a character, is a comedian. And I think that it's very hard to be a character where people are also looking at you as you're a real human behind that character. And I think being a comedian is very hard because you were able to do things years ago. That Recently, people have been pulling up JoJo's interactions and relationships with not only Colleen, but other family members of Colleen, including Colleen's sister, Rachel Ballinger. Someone commented on Twitter, of course she's going to defend Colleen Ballinger. She's her friend. She was kind of indirectly gripped by Rachel Ballinger. JoJo Siwa can't see how fix people because she herself is a victim of the Ballinger family. People are pointing out that Rachel Ballinger's relationship with Jojo Siwa, beginning with Jojo as young as 13 or 14, is a prime example of how the Ballinger family allegedly groups minors. So Rachel Ballinger had Jojo on her podcast and the conversations that they were having honestly sounded illegal to listen to. It's actually quite shocking. The podcast posted two years ago was titled Coming Out to Each Other. A Twitter user brought up this specific segment of the podcast and people were horrified. The Twitter user wrote, more inappropriate Ballinger slash child interactions. This time it's Rachel Ballinger and Jojo Siwa. Rachel slid into Jojo's DMs when she was 13 or 14. Rachel says she shot her shot. Excuse me, bitch. Joshua David Evans is mentioned. The reason it's audio only for the main part is because Rachel cut out the Joshua talk on the YouTube version. So firstly, they discussed how they met it was at one of Colleen's performances and nothing seemed too off to start with. At a Miranda Sings concert. I was like, I don't know who this is. Colleen was like, she's from Dance Moms. I was like, oh, cool, cool. Yeah. I took a photo with you. You're back. And I was just Yeah, like, and I remember meeting cool. you there and being like, oh, she's cool. I get a message from Rachel <laughs> that says. On Twitter. It's a DM. It's a DM on Twitter. I slid into her DMs. You were also 14, 13? Yeah, 14. Yeah, that's not weird at all. Sounds similar to Colleen with the whole Adam situation, except that's worse because she sent him her underwear. Or is it worse? Let's continue listening. Dude, maybe even 13. I get a text on Twitter, a DM that says, hey, let's be friends. <laughs> I shot my shot. Yes, I realize my profile pic is the cutest thing ever right now. I said, hey, love, I missed you. Your profile pic as well, a little disturbing. Oh, what was it? I don't remember what it was. And then she didn't reply to me. Because <laughs> I don't look at my DMs. I don't know what it was. It was probably like a face Yeah, it was probably video. an ugly yeah. face. But you and Colleen started hanging out again. Yeah, so, so then... So Jojo and Colleen stopped hanging out around the time Jojo was 14. Yes, they took a friendship break. It's very weird to say because they've been friends since she was 12. And they'd taken their friendship break because Colleen was going through a messy divorce. A messy divorce that we've all now heard the tea on thanks to Swoop's interview with Colleen's ex-husband, Josh. Well, no, so then it was actually really awkward between Colleen and I. There was like, a huge elephant in the room for a minute. This was post-Colleen's divorce. We're just yeah. gonna say that so yeah. when Colleen was going through a divorce um just a lot of stuff was going down yeah and then a year later everything chilled yep and that's when everyone started talking again a year later I put some glasses on and I could see things clearly <laughs> I can see clearly now <sighs> the rain is gone yeah the big big <laughs> thunderstorm 
had passed. It was like a... It makes me uncomfortable knowing that Colleen was probably opening up to Jojo about her divorce. Like a 30 year old woman discussing her divorce with a teen. That's super weird. Hurricane tornado. <laughs> yeah, so then she called me and ever since then, everything was great. Yeah, so and when you guys started hanging for reals again, I was like... You came back I went. Yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, are we and all I good? Remember, Can I, was, I come over? <laughs> yeah. I remember I was closer to Colleen. Yeah. But now, like, obviously I love your sister, but now I'm for sure closer to you. Okay, now that's really weird that she was close slash pesties with an adult. I understand, like, filming with Jojo and being acquaintances, but, like, going over to each other's houses and being besties? Um, no. Well, yeah, well, you just, like, I can hang out with me. You can't yeah. hang out. Colleen is yeah, pregnant or absolutely. has kids all the time, which... And I still love her. Tell her every secret I know, but, like, I just... She is she is our big sister. Yeah. Who our, has a family. Our big sister. She is our big sister who yeah. has a family, and we're the two younger ones that run around do stupid things. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not family. It would be different if Jojo was the younger sister or cousin, but she's not. And I hate to think of all the inappropriate things they talked about together. So this podcast gets worse. Bear in mind, Jojo was 18 on here. Rachel, 30, I believe, from what I've seen online. And they started immediately talking about stuff like who's the top and who's the bottom like come on this is just very weird and it just shows how naive Jojo is about the whole situation. Hey you're the bottom I'm the top but we don't have to stare at that the I, whole time. I, I okay. am a bottom and you Am I? I am No I'm, I know but you're like and you're out I was like I'm, I think it's who you're with I think who you're with changes your slight preference. It matters. Yeah. Jojo definitely looked uncomfortable there. She was like fidgeting and stuff. Maybe I'm just overanalyzing. I'm really trying my best to view this whole thing objectively, but like, it's so awkward to witness this because she'd known this woman since she was 13, like she said, Rachel slid in her DMs. I'm a switch and right now a slight bottom preference. All right. And you're just a bottom? Yeah. Okay. So clearly I was going to ask, how unfiltered are you, how uncensored are you getting? Well, <laughs> a bottom doesn't have to necessarily mean like in that land a bottom, but... Yeah, it was a super weird podcast to watch. And funnily enough, all the comments two years ago were all people laughing at the video, which is just so weird if you think about it. Like these fans are probably the same ones canceling Colleen now to this day. Is that not weird? That or all these people commenting were children at the time because we have to remember Jojo Siwa's younger audience and then of course, Colleen Ballinger's young audience. And so I'm assuming Rachel had a young audience too. I don't know. It's just weird. So this podcast isn't really being talked about online. I don't think many people know about it, but some people have been mentioning it on Twitter. A user tweeted, Jojo Siwa's mom is an OC dance mom. Colleen and her sis, Steph, took advantage of the fact her parents were negligent. Jojo did a pod with Rachel Ballinger when she first came into adulthood. Like, she is still a child. It creeped me out so bad. I wonder if Adam McIntyre Tyre has seen this podcast. It would be interesting to know if he has seen it because I'm sure he'd have a lot to say about it. Him and Jojo, like their experiences with Colleen are very similar if you think about it, except Adam recognizes it was wrong, Jojo doesn't, which is concerning seeing as they're both now young adults. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this podcast? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.